Um, I got a lot of questions today on the logic puzzle that was in your review packet. And the few of you I tried to sit down and help, I had a hard time doing it kind of on the fly. Um, it's difficult to jump into one of these sort of halfway through. So I promised you I would do it on my own and get back with you. And I thought maybe I would record myself going through it so that you could sort of see my thought process. So this is totally live. Um, I might make mistakes. I might get stuck. Um, all of those things may happen. This will not be a perfect video, but I think it will be very helpful if you're struggling with logic puzzles to sort of see the process that I go through. So I'm going to try as best I can to, to say the things that I'm thinking while I'm writing them down. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out, I've got five different cars, five different people, and five different colors, and I need to match all of those things up. So I'm going to start with the clues. I know neither Mr. Johnson nor Mr. Jones owns the red car. So I'm going to stop there. Johnson, Jones, red car. I can cross those off. So Johnson is not red. You're not going to be able to see that. Johnson is not red. Jones is not red. Okay. But one of them owns the convertible. So the convertible must be owned by either Johnson or Jones. So I'm going to cross off everybody else. There's one other piece of information in here. The way this clue is worded, I know Johnson and Jones don't own the red car, but if one of them owns the convertible, that means the convertible cannot be the red car. So convertible, I'm going to cross off the red car. Okay, so all of that was from that first clue. My next one, Mr. Jones, Mr. Brown, and the owner of the sedan. Right there, I know Mr. Jones and Mr. Brown, neither one of them owns the sedan. So Jones and Brown cannot own the sedan. Okay. But they sometimes go on camping trips, I don't really care about camping trips, with the owner of the yellow station wagon. That's huge. Okay, the yellow station wagon tells me right away that I know the, the station wagon is yellow. And remember, when you find out something for sure, you can eliminate everything else going up and down and also everything else going left and right in that category. Because if I know the station wagon is yellow, none of the other cars can be yellow. And if I know the station wagon, the, the, oh, sorry, if I know the yellow one is the station wagon, then I know none of these other colors could be for the station wagon. Okay. I also know from that, let's see that Mr. Jones and Mr. Brown, neither one of them own the yellow car or the station wagon because these two guys do not own this car. So Jones, I'm going to cross off yellow. Mr. Brown, I'm going to cross off yellow. And I'm also going to cross off station wagon for both of them. Neither one of them can own the station wagon or the yellow car because really the yellow car and the station wagon are the same thing. Okay. Oh, and I guess I also know why well, that's already crossed off in here that the sedan is not yellow, okay, because those are, again, are two separate cars. Okay, the coupe and the white car, again, right there, the coupe and the white car tells me that the coupe is not white, are owned by the men with the colorful last names. That would be brown and black, Mr. Brown and Mr. Black. So the coupe I can cross off everybody except brown or black because one of them has to own it. And white, for the white car, I'm going to cross off everybody except brown and black. Okay. The coupe and the white car are owned by the... Okay. So I already got... The coupe is not white. Perfect. Okay. Mr. Smith used to own the sports car. So right away, I know currently Mr. Smith does not own the sports car. But then he changed its original white color. So right now, the sports car cannot be white because he changed the color and sold it to one of the other men who did not paint it green. So it used to be white. The color has changed, but it did not become green. So the sports car is also not green. Okay, and I know Mr. Johnson owns a green car. That's also another big one. Anytime you find out something is 
for sure true. Um, that lets you check off a lot of stuff. So Mr. Johnson owns the green car, which means I can cross off everybody else or all the other colors, and I can cross off all the other people. Which is very helpful because you'll notice here under Mr. Jones, the only car left for Mr. Jones to own is the blue car, the only color left in that category. So I can put a circle there and cross off all these. And then I'm just going to look around for a minute for any other holes. don't see any. Okay, now is when I have to get creative. So for example, I know the station wagon is yellow. I also know the station wagon is not owned by Jones or Brown. Therefore, Jones and Brown cannot own yellow. Oh, I already have both of those checked off. So Jones and Brown cannot own yellow. Okay, let's see. Yellow car is the station wagon. Oh, that kind of takes me to the same place. Mm. Okay. Down here, I know the yellow car cannot belong to Jones, Brown, or Johnson. Okay, so Johnson could not possibly own the yellow car. Oh, I already have that crossed off. Oh, what I meant to say was not that he couldn't own the yellow car. Johnson can't own the station wagon because we know Johnson doesn't own the yellow car, so Johnson must not own the station wagon either. Okay, let's look for one of my other circles where I can make some conclusions. The green car is owned by Mr. Johnson. What do I know about the green car over here? It's not the station wagon, it's not the sports car. So Mr. Johnson does not own the station wagon or the sports car. Okay. And what else do I know about Mr. Johnson? He doesn't own station wagon, sports car, or coupe. So over here, station wagon, sports car, and coupe, none of those could be the green car because Mr. Johnson owns the green car and it's, he doesn't own any of those cars. So station wagon, sports car, coupe all need to be crossed off under green. Okay, how am I doing? Do I have any holes anywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay, here is where I may need to dig back through my clues again. So looking back at my clues, Neither Johnson or Jones owns the red car. Let's look at the red car for a second. The red car belongs to either Smith, Brown, or Black. Mm, that doesn't really help me. Let's see. Well, here's something I see right away. The coupe can only be owned by Brown or Black. And right now I'm just kind of looking through and finding some places where I'm really close, like I'm down to like two options. The coupe has to be owned by brown or black, okay? Over here, the coupe has to be red or blue. If I look down here, though, blue is not an option for Mr. Brown or Mr. Black. So brown and black, neither one of them owns a blue car, but one of them has to own the coupe. So I know for sure the coupe cannot be the blue car, which means that the coupe must be the red car. So let's see, what else do I know about the red car? The red car is not owned by Jones or Johnson, okay? So the coupe cannot be owned by, oh, I already have that crossed off, okay. Um, I know that the coupe can also not be owned by Mr. Smith, and so if the coupe is red and we know Mr. Smith doesn't own it, then Mr. Smith can't own the red car down here, which means he must own the yellow car and that means I can cross off everybody else for yellow. Okay, if Mr. Smith owns the yellow car, I know Mr. Smith does not own sports car, coupe, or convertible. So that yellow car can't be the sports car, coupe, or convertible. Oh, look, we already know who this yellow car is. So the yellow car belongs to Mr. Smith, and over here it tells us the yellow car is the station wagon. So Mr. Smith, whoops, must own the station wagon. Cross all of those off. Okay, anywhere else we're down to two. Oh, look over here. The blue car must be the sports car. See that hole there? Blue car must be the sports car. 
So if the blue car is the sports car down here, I know the blue car belongs to Mr. Jones. So the sports car must belong to Mr. Jones. And I can cross off everything across from it. So anytime you put a circle in, cross off everything left to right and everything up and down, which leaves me with a hole right here, the coupe. The only person left, well, the only car Mr. Brown could still own is the coupe. Means I can cross that off. That leaves me with a hole up here. Mr. Black must own the sedan. And Mr. Johnson must own the convertible. So notice at this point, I'm not even really going back to my clues. Um, I'm just looking in the table itself. So now, Mr. Black owns the sedan. Okay. Mm, down here, it tells me Mr. Black can only own red or white. And the sedan can only be green or white. So the only way we could get those to line up is if it's white. Okay, let me say that again. I knew a second ago that Mr. Black could only own the red or the white car based on the information down here. I know he owns the sedan, and the sedan could only be, what was it, green or white, blue or white? Gosh, I don't remember. One of these other ones. So the only, pop the only way to make both of those work is to make it the white car, which makes this the green car. Okay. So now, the red car, the red car is the coupe. The coupe is owned by Mr. Brown, so Mr. Brown must own the red car, which leaves Mr. White to own the black car. Okay, so that's it. That's my logic puzzle. That, now, getting over that, that part at the beginning, and I think probably the big key there was when we had that process of elimination of the coupe where we had to say it was either this color or this color and then we eliminated a possibility down there. That's the thing with logic puzzles is sometimes um, you find one little piece of information and sometimes you really have to dig for it. But that one piece of information is enough to kind of set off a domino effect. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you watch this, go ahead and fill in your um, logic puzzle along with me. Um, if you're confused, maybe go back and watch it again, and maybe you'll catch something you didn't catch the first time. So um, do email me if you have questions, and remember your answer keys for your test reviews are up on my website.